Good morning. I'm heading out of Max Patch. That was awesome there last night. It was just super cold, but it was awesome. It's a beautiful sunset everyone was watching. Probably had like 12 to 15 hikers that were here. All camped at the same spot. Just had a good group of people just chilling, enjoying the evening. At some point during the night, the clouds had cleared up and then I peeked my head out and noticed there were stars and stuff out, but then it kind of clouded back over in the morning. And then um, nice cloudy sunrise this morning. Got a little bit of shot of that as right before the sun was coming up, I think. Whew. But today, um, it's like 20 miles exactly to Hot Springs, which right now I think is too far. I don't know if I'm ready for a 20. Depends on the terrain. I think there's gonna be at least two big uphills before we get a big descent towards Hot Springs. So there's, there's a shelter like 17 miles from here. And I think I'm gonna go for that. And then that next morning, I'll only have three miles to do to Hot Springs. I think I'll just get up early, go right into Hot Springs in the morning, and then go straight into like a diner or something and get a, get a good breakfast. So that's the plan for right now. <sighs> Not gonna do a zero in Hot Springs. It could potentially be like just a Nero in there, stay overnight, get all the resupply and stuff done, and then head out for the next big stretch. All right, let's head down trail. And here's the split off for the Roaring Fork Shelter. This was potentially gonna be what I was aiming for if I wanted to do like closer to a 19 or 20 mile day yesterday, but that did not happen. I think I got the better deal camping out on top of Max Patch. That was awesome up there. Man, this all came down recent. It's just kind of crazy seeing big trees like this just kind of snapped in half. It's been intermittently raining with uh, just light sprinkles of rain off and on, so I got my rain gear on. But I don't think it's going to be too bad today as far as rain goes. But I was just going to say that I think I like the mornings the best because uh, my legs and my feet and everything feel fine. I can just cruise down the trail at like a really quick pace. And um, especially coming out of Max Patch, there's like this huge five mile, very gentle sloped downhill. So I'm just cruising this morning. And then usually when it gets to like around noon or so, I'll slow down some, just as my legs get a little more tired. But this has been going really good this morning. Lemon Gap. Walnut Mountain Shelter is 1.3, Hot Springs is 14.4. see through the trees there coming up on Walnut Mountain Shelter. Well, the sun's trying to come out. It might warm up by like five degrees. Coming up on the top of Bluff Mountain. I think that'll finish all the major hill climbing for today. And then from here, it's like 10 miles of downhill to Hot Springs. I'm gonna still plan on stopping at the uh, Deer Mountain Shelter, which is like seven and a half miles away. That'll still be like a 17 
mile day for today, so I think that'll be enough. I'll walk into town tomorrow morning, straight to a diner, get some breakfast. That's the plan so far. The long descent. My legs aren't tired, my knees don't hurt, so overall it's not that bad. It's just gonna be a long descent. I can actually move faster on the downhills. So I definitely prefer these more than the uphills. I've just been flying down this hill like four miles an hour, but I gotta stop and film this. Kind of a neat little rock formation. All right, we're back to running down trail in the mud. What are these, a type of orchid? Kind of, there's a couple of them around this area. Okay, I'm at Garen Flow Gap, Deer Park Shelter, 3.4, where Hot Springs itself, 6.6. .6. Right now I'm leaning towards Hot Springs. And then that would make me take a zero for tomorrow, but I could get a warm meal tonight and a shower. I'm still feeling okay. Six and a half miles just seems like a long distance still. But let's do it. Shooting for Hot Springs. Got a little bit of a valley view. It was raining for a little bit, so I had to put everything away. May or may not be continuing to be intermittent rain. But it's really nice right now. I've still got like four miles or so. So we're just still droning on with this downhill. Ooh, made it. Deer Park Shelter. Hot Springs, 3.2 miles. I think it's less than that to get to the uh, hostel I'm aiming for. Ooh. But yeah, I'm getting tired. Maybe another hour and a half, and we'll get there. Keep on going. There's two... Uh, Headstones here, just right off the trail. George Gregg, 1881 to 1966, departed but not forgotten. And Ava Gregg, 1882 to 1940, absent, not dead. I'm getting close. I can see the town of Hot Springs down there. Less than a mile for sure. Somewhere between a mile and a half mile at this point. The long downhill is coming to an end. And here I am set up for the night. I am at the Laughing Heart Lodge Hiker Hostel in Hot Springs. They were full up in the bunkhouse and inside the main house, so I'm kind of out in the field where Tent City is at. It's uh, just 10 bucks a night to uh, stay here. I'm going to um, stay here for two nights. We'll do the zero. Right now I'm just going to try to get um, a shower, change into clean clothes, run into town, and food is the top priority. We'll get some dinner going. And it's going to be dinner for tonight. Smoky Mountain Diner. Barnaby's. You remember Barnaby's? You know, I, uh, as soon as I... Good morning. I'm still at the uh, Laughing Heart Hostel for another night. I'm gonna do a zero today in Hot Springs. And uh, currently heading down back to the Smoky Mountain Diner to get some breakfast. It's like 7 a.m. It's right when they open. And, uh, just got to do some laundry, resupply, those are the two big ticket items for today. But the AT trail itself goes right through town and that's exactly what I'm walking on. So let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast is complete and I'm heading back to the hostel. That was delicious. 
What was really cool is that somebody picked up my tab. I was just sitting there eating by myself, finishing up, and this, uh, I think it was just a local guy, came over and was chatting with me for a second, and then um, he grabbed my check and said he'll cover my bill. So that was cool, thanks. Um, I'm gonna head back, see how long the line is for laundry. That'll be the first mission for today. Get that done quick this morning, and then um, there's like no cell service in town, and the Wi-Fi at the hostel is really weak. So I'm gonna have to head down to the uh, public library in town. It opens up later at 10. They've got Wi-Fi, and I'll see if I can upload some more videos because uh, I've got a few more ready to go. <clears throat> and then shopping. For a food resupply. I did some initial planning. I think it's going to be, if I push like 18 miles a day, it'll be another four day stretch into the next town, which will be Irwin, Tennessee. So that's the next goal. Four days there. Legs and stuff are feel, still feeling good. It's cool how, um, no matter how beat down and stuff and your legs get when you do 20 miles, uh, the next morning feel fine. So that's good. <clears throat> I'm just going to let, um, let my body do the talking, I guess. And as far as um, you know, any pain and stuff, I'll stop. Or um, if I'm feeling good, I'll keep on going. So uh, that's it for now. We'll check back later. Well, I'm currently back at the hostel. I think it's around noon. So I was downtown for a couple of hours. Got my laundry completed. Um, it was downtown at the library. They had really fast, good internet. So I just sat there for a little bit. Um, finished editing some videos. I got three more videos uploaded, so now I'm fully caught up. Um, that's the only thing if you're doing this whole vlogging thing on the trail, you have to spend the time to get into the towns and find uh, somewhere with decent Wi-Fi. So either way, we're all caught up. We got that taken care of. Got some electronics charging. Um, it is just a beautiful sunny day right now, so I've just got kind of the lazy day going on. I gotta head back into town in a little bit and take care of all my shopping needs. I think I'm gonna hit up the Dollar General for that. Get four days uh, worth of resupply done and then uh, relax and enjoy the evening. Well, I'm back from my resupply mission. That was a success. I got four days worth of food, plus a little bit of leftovers. So, uh, like four and a half days if necessary. I'll show my overall plan for um, getting to Damascus uh, at some point here, a couple of sections uh, that I plan on doing. Um, give an idea what I'm, what I'm planning. Subject to change, of course, depending on how many miles I want to push, but um, I'm just kind of bored and, Nothing else going on, so I uh, got that figured out. And behind me in a little bit, there's actually a wedding going on at the lodge. Gonna start here in a minute, and um, a lot of the hikers in the area are gonna be just kinda hanging out and uh, crashing the wedding, so I might go uh, join in and film a little bit of that. I just kinda, kinda need to hang out and see that. But uh, um, I think that's it for now. I got everything accomplished. Probably get dinner like late, go back into town one more time, like eight o'clock or something, and go get some uh, go get some food right before sunset. So that was kind of cool seeing the wedding. I am not at all surprised to um, be a part of a wedding ceremony on the AT. Anything could happen. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go over my plans for the next uh, couple of days or so. We'll show it's almost like 200 miles to Damascus from here, so I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Okay, here's my notes for my plan of attack. Um, Hot Springs to Irwin is going to be four days. So there's the distance between each and then the mile marker for each one of these sites. So we've got that going. Um, so notice Hot Springs is at about 275 miles on the AT. The next section we'll get from uh, Irwin to uh, Road at 19E. There's a hostel there, a famous uh, station at 19E, so I'll check that hostel out. That's gonna be a three-day trip to get there. We'll resupply, and then the last stretch will be from 19E to Damascus, and that's gonna be about uh, four and a half days or so mile 470, so that's almost 200 miles planned out right there. And subject to change, of course, none of these are more than like 19 miles, so I may do like a 20 plus mile day in there and these numbers could all change, but that's just initially what I'm looking at. Heading back into town for dinner. Gonna check out the restaurant at the uh, Iron Horse Station, I think is what it's called, just up ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. 
that makes a lot of sense. So uh, you wouldn't want to do it if you were. Yeah, I'm back at the hostel for the night. I'll get the fire in the background. And um, dinner was awesome. Yeah, the Iron Horse Station restaurant place was definitely the place to go if you want to get the fancy type of meal. And then I'd recommend the Smoky Mountain Diner for like the small town home cooked style meals. And um, yeah, I feel like I've eaten like 6,000 calories for just today. Uh, hopefully that'll tide me over for uh, at least half the day tomorrow once I start back on trail. But uh, let's see, sun's going down here in a second and I'll probably just sign off here for the night and just kind of chill with some of the other guys and uh, socialize for a bit before uh, going to bed myself, probably going to bed early, trying to get up like probably six or something and heading out pretty early. So we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching.